Ah, nuts, nuts, nuts. It's nuts, nuts, nuts. Salt and fresh. <laughs> oh gosh. I wash my hand. It's still tangly. What the hell? Oh wow, look at here. Hey guys, Colleen here, and I'm back with yet another video. And yes, the makeup is a bit much today, but um, I watched Carly Bible's orange makeup tutorial last night, and I felt super, super inspired. But this video is not about this look. This video is about my fave permanent mass produced palettes that you can get um, either online or in store maybe some local sellers if you live in Trinidad and Tobago do carry some of them you know um, because it could be quite pricey to buy them online and ship them in depending and certainly now with the 7% tax it would certainly cost more than before so let me just get into you know my recommendations of some really good palettes permanent palettes that you can get um, <clears throat> especially if you are a newcomer to the makeup scene and you want that one holy grail palette that you know you could use on an everyday basis you know to achieve you know um, neutral looks vampy looks depending on whatever strikes your mood at the time so keep on watching and when my lovely dominoes man will come when I'm filming okay now the first palette I want to speak about is a Too Faced chocolate bar well this is a semi sweet um, I do have <coughs> the original and the semi sweet. I don't want uh, excellent choices. Um, for me, in my opinion, though, I prefer the semi sweet versus the, um, the original. But let me just show you what they do look like. <coughs> so, this is the array of colors. Um, a lot of neutral brown looks you could create a number of neutral looks with this palette I as you can tell from the condition of this palette um, I really don't go for this one um, as much because this is <clears throat> more of a cooler tone palette and I have a preference what's like the colors so this is the state of my semi sweet and as you can see I've hit pan on peanut butter which is like an excellent excellent transition color for girls you know brown skin girls um, the NC's 40 and up you know um, this one is a color that I don't typically understand why it's in the palette but I mean Too Faced they could be quite random this do smell of chocolate I would not suggest you taste them because I don't know if they are edible but I mean this is something you can look for I think they typically retail for like 49 US in my opinion if you want a palette from Too Faced these are the only two you should consider. I find I find the other palettes, the smaller ones, and even like these special, you know, um, especially around the holiday time, the <clears throat> the packaging is very pretty, but that's about it. I am um, I have quite a bit of them, and I really don't draw for them as much because I don't find they are as pigmented as the chocolate bars um i don't see the need in getting the other chocolate bar palettes the bonbon or the sweet peach because 
they're again all neutrals and it's like how much neutrals can a glue have you know so if you're looking for something you know um to start off your makeup collection so to speak I recommend either one of these depending on your preference for warm or cool tone okay. the next palette I mean this is like the ultimate matte palette this is like the mattes of all mattes that is reasonably priced there are a couple more mattes that I think are the mattes of all mattes but they're freaking expensive um, it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour I think this retails for 36 US I'm not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong this palette let me just has an array of mattes where you can create a warm, cool, or neutral matte or matte eyeshadow look. Um, this is a very good palette, in my opinion. Um, I need to use this a little more often. It's just that I have so many palettes from which to choose, I sometimes get a little overwhelmed. And sometimes, you know, like when the new kids on the block, you know, you tend to use that and forgo what you already have. And, but this one, if you're looking at a neutral eyeshadow, this is like one, I mean, the pigmentation, you see this brown here is so pretty as a crease color on brown skin goes. I mean, I can't begin to tell you. And this one here as well for... Like the darker skin it's just beautiful they blend like a dream it is so buttery and pigmented I mean Kat Von D hit a home run as they would say in the States with this palette so I highly do recommend you know this <clears throat> um, the next one is something I got as a gift earlier this year it is finally well not as finally but finally Anastasia has brought out a permanent eyeshadow palette because they typically um, release limited editions that once they're gone they're gone you know so like the self made and the travel couture and the artist palette and the Maya Mia and the Omrizi those have long gone into the wind and it always like confused me as to why you would always have a limited and not a permanent because I mean the shadows are so good but once you've capitalized on the right shade combination you will always have a following for a permanent shadow palette eyeshadow palette um, excuse the condition of it this is to tell you how much I love this this eyeshadow palette. I use and abuse. It is dirty. But that's because I use my stuff. I don't have it sitting on collecting most of the time. So you can see wear and use out of it. Now, <clears throat> this is the Modern Renaissance palette. As you can see, I've hit pan. I'm hitting pan on some shades because I kill them all the time. This is a very lovely warm tone palette with little pops of color that transition well with browns and the taupes and the caramels I mean this is a really good palette to consider I think this retails for 42 US 45 US I'm not exactly sure but this is something you could consider in terms of getting um, it has a nice mix of um, satins and mattes. There aren't any um, of the diamond dust kind of shadows like the um, the self-made. I think sh pink champagne is like a super glittery um, shadow. But these are very good. I use this to, uh, for my work looks. I particularly love these two here for transitions this for my 
to deepen it up and these to deepen up the transition I love them this has an all over lid color as well as this they're just absolutely stunning absolutely stunning so this is something to consider and thank god this is permanent because when I start like shadows start disappearing I need to get me a backup of this you know just saying all right and you would notice that a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I speak of that are permanent and faves that you know you should consider are mostly neutral colors because at the end of the day that's the most wearable look that could be achieved on an everyday basis whether it be for school for work you know little outings and stuff because <clears throat> we can't always wear you know the crazy neon colors in a urban decay electric palette or you know it's just not practical so all these shadows are very practical for everyday use um, the next one that I love is possibly a very good palette from this brand because um, it's not a brand that um, I'm necessarily attracted to but these palettes are pretty good and you could you know look into them and see if there's anything in it that you think would appeal to you and it is the Tarte Tartlet and Tartlet in Bloom um, I'm doing them together because they're the same brand now the Tartlet which is the original is another all matte palette um, if I could just get it open all right now <clears throat> pardon me this will blind you okay so these are the all matte shades here as you can tell there are a lot of mauve looks I could see coming out of it not just brown but mauve you know which actually looks good on um, women of color you know they may come off as a little purplish or pink but they do complement and these I in my opinion they don't look ashy at first that is what I was hesitant about but when I try them they're very pigmented um, they do have a lot of kick up so you just want to be careful I would suggest you um, probably do your eye look first and then apply your foundation but this is lovely the sister palette is even lovelier in my opinion because it has some shimmers in it and it is a lot warmer tone again I I just love the warm tone anything you know makeup on a whole but this is it here sorry again for blinding you you know as you can tell there are a couple shimmer shades they are absolutely lovely I love this on the deepening of the crease that is such a lovely color um, these I think retail for 45 45 dollars if I'm not mistaken you can get them at Sephora or on the Tarte website um, I think there are some local sellers who do carry these you know um, you could probably check out their Facebook pages and see how much they're charging perhaps with the conversion rate and everything it might be more practical to get them down here than to you know buy them online you know at least you have them immediately um, so that is basically like one, two, three, four I've done so far. Um, so I know I said I'll do top five, but I'll just do my tops, you know, because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. It's not funny. Next one, I <clears throat> you'll be surprised to hear me say this. I do not have the Lorac Pro palette. 
as the long skinny ones I have a mega pro the first one and I do have a pro to go all right and this is such a lovely palette um, because I have this I really don't feel like I don't feel the urge to get the pro to go palette you know because this is all I need in a palette basically you know so let me just open it up for you guys it's such a cool concept like I use and abuse this now this retails for like $39.50 which is quite pricey you would say but <clears throat> it's let me just block that out it actually has blushes you know and two little brushes it's quite cool you know you could basically oopsie do that you know um, the colors are quite um, women of color friendly for the eyes that is you know you could actually like prop it up like this which is cool you know it's a cool concept I purchased this when Sephora used to carry Lorac and at the time I purchased it I think I got it for $16 it was on sale and I just that was that was not steel. I was like highway robbery. I just purchased this. It was thebomb.com. All right. So, um, if it is, you cannot buy the full Lorac palette or even the mega, the mega palettes because that's like fifty nine US, and that could be a bit pricey. You could probably look at one of these. You get blushes in it as well that you can use. This color, pool actually makes a very nice highlighter on the cheekbones and stuff like that and on the under the eyebrows so that is something you could probably look at this is such a lovely I love cafe as a transition color and chai as a all over the lid and minx as a crease color that ultimate everyday smoky neutral look and we're good to go basically good to go you know um this next palette um i dedicated an entire video review on it um i will link it in the description bar below so i wouldn't spend too much time on it but if it is you do have the coinage to split coinage to splurge on either one or both or if you want to wait for the upcoming sale in mid-november you know these are two that you can look towards um i did do a video on the viseart palette i will link it in the description bar below for you to check out so i wouldn't spend too much time on it this is the dark mats and this is the neutral mats. Um, I basically said the mats are the bomb.com so and they are very woman of color friendly palettes they're extremely extremely pigmented so they retail for 80 US which is very pricey for 12 sheets but I did break down in terms of the value for money in the video you know and so did Stephanie Nicole I will also link her video because she did an excellent excellent review on this so these are something you can look towards right now <clears throat> on the polar opposite in terms of price wise um, these palettes um, have taken the makeup community by storm um, I'd ask my um, members in the beauty chat room and subscribers you know um, what kind of video they want to see and they also did ask for Morphe to be <clears throat> somehow incorporated in this in terms of a faves video and I think I will do speak on it briefly and basically tell you the ultimate Morphe palettes to get right now these are the 35 palettes they're very big 
basically 35 means 35 shades in a palette this size I do have a couple of these smaller 12 palettes and the blush palettes um, the blush palettes are particularly very good um, these Morphe's <coughs> um, basically I think it's through Facebook and YouTube I knew about this brand because before that I would not have known they existed because it's an indie brand it's a private label brand meaning that they don't actually produce the makeup they have a um, manufacturer probably somewhere in Asia or China or somewhere there and they get it at a fraction of the cost they slap on their label hence aka private label and they mark up the price of the product so they could get the profit margin basically so <clears throat> this here is the 35W um, I would strongly suggest for a beginner you know if money if you're on a tight budget and you the ones I mentioned before are just a bit too pricey for you to get at this point this is something you could look at um, these are like 20 US 20 to 23 US um, I know a lot of Facebook sellers um, have this for like <clears throat> under 200 TT for those who are living in Trinidad and Tobago so this might be you know something more practical for you to get it has a nice array of mattes and shimmers um, from light neutrals to warm dark neutrals I particularly love this orange here um, my only gripe about this palette is that the blacks are not matte blacks it has some shimmer some shimmer in it and I always say all encompassing shadow palette should have a matte black you know um, these are particularly good you know um, my only gripe with Morphe quality wise um, because they're so cheap um, the they use a lot of filler ingredients so like talc so of course the pigmentation of these shadows would not be on par with say a fizzy art you know and understandably so because 2080 2080 and you're getting a lot more shades in this one this is this this is 35 12 so I mean you know you get basically what you pay for but um, even price wise these are quite good um, I find the best like quality Morphe shadows are the 35O. Um, the quality on these are way better than their sister palettes for some strange reason. I don't know if it is the formula they use for the pigments, but and basically you could use this palette to achieve this look. Just saying, easy squeezy lemon you know and I just love these last two rows here you see these orange that orange that orange is goals basically and I think like before <laughs> um, getting this palette was like running down Bigfoot um, the hype on it has since cooled down so for those who don't own it and want to get it um, you could go on Morphe brushes.com I'll link it in this description below and order it online um, I know some of these Facebook sellers do carry this but this palette strangely oddly enough costs more than the other palettes which are typically retail for under 200 this I've seen this retail for like 250 and Uh, what the hell? <laughs> okay then. I typically see this retail for over 200 and 
it's the same as but I guess it's the the demand you know for this palette so either the W let me just put them side by side and then I could probably show you the rest of my Morphe you know because I do own like seven I had eight and I gave away one so because I really didn't think I would need all those shadows right so let me just do this in a way that I don't so this is the W here right and this is the 25 O here right and <clears throat> um, anybody starting off I would suggest they get either one of these just bear in mind this one has absolutely no no black shadows in it so you would still need to get a palette with a black shadow that's for like creating the ultimate neutral look you know um and then well i guess from there once you've grown confident with your eyeshadow application you know and technique you could probably branch out to more daring palettes you know um i have 35p 35p is beautiful it's just a lovely array of purple shadows i mean granted <laughs> you may not have cause or need for all these purples but they're absolutely pretty and purple is my favorite color so that is the 35p or 35 plum as they like to call it next one is the 35d which is supposed to be a dupe i think for one of the urban decays i'm not too sure i can't remember but this is to achieve the ultimate smoky look it has some really pretty greens here and this blue you know but it's mostly smoky smoky colors you know this is a nice gold color as well you know i bought most of these eyeshadow palettes off of hot look and they cost me 15 dollars a pop so i like to buy stuff at sale price i rarely buy at retail price this is the 35e which is all shimmers there are no mattes in this palette these are good for like lid colors um you know i wouldn't necessarily say this is a must for you this is more so for like people who are makeup artists you know who freelance and stuff like that maybe this might be more up their alley because you know clients may want different looks and you want to have as many shadows as you possibly can right you don't have to go out and buy all of these trust me you don't it's not necessary uh oh I dig my hand this is the 35 T which is a cool tone neutral palette um, I love this palette too but again I more lean towards warm tone so this does not get the amount of abuse as the 35W or the 35O would get but this is nice as well these are more like mauve purpley shades you know they're kind of reminiscent of the tartlet color family basically but this is quite lovely and again um between purchasing it between hot look and some facebook sells because i think i got that one for like 170 tt from one of the facebook sellers um can't remember who but yeah and the last one is the 35 b this is the glamour or bright something like that but this is excellent for for carnival if you play mass or if you freelance makeup a lot for carnival this is something that 
I would recommend goes in your kit. The lovely rainbow colors. I like to tell you, I think the rainbow, <laughs> rainbow colors got me. Um, I think this is an excellent dupe for the Urban Decay electric palettes because you have some rather neony like colors like this one here and that one there and that one there and that there you know so this is something you know that it's not necessary again it's not necessary but you know um if you freelance and stuff like that you could probably get them and have them in your kit depending on the job that you know you're going to if it's carnival or bridal or you know but um they're fairly decent pigment wise you know for the price so you're not you can't expect them to be of the same or greater quality than a Viseart or a Lorac you know um that's that's like comparing Mazdas to Ferraris because they're in the category of cars um that that logic does not necessarily make sense there you know because they are high-end and they're budget-friendly you know um, it's very nice to have like a budget gem that surpasses but I mean it's not always it's a, a rarity but those those morphes are pretty pretty good and they're very affordable um, for those who probably don't want to spend a whole set of money on makeup or you know you're on a tight budget and you're just being mindful of your spending those are things you know to look to you know and I could probably list some of the Facebook sellers trusted Facebook sellers um, in the description below if you're interested in sourcing any of them so I think that's it in terms of my fave permanent um, eyeshadow palettes slash Morphe palettes. Um, if you do like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, please do. And until the next time, bye.